My journey begins in Athens. The day I arrive, it happens to be Kite Day, a national Greek holiday that celebrates the beginning of Lent. We decide to celebrate in Greek fashion. Step one, buy a kite. Tell me what today is. Today is Kite Day! And we're going to buy a kite. kite! There are many kites to choose from, and the wind seems just right. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Finally, after much deliberation, we decided on Dumbo. Kite in hand, we then decided to leave Athens and head south to Epiros at the ancient Greek theater in search of a bit of history and winds to fly on. The drive down the coast was absolutely breathtaking. I highly recommend it to anyone who travels to Greece. One word of advice, if you can get a Greek person to drive you, do. It adds so much more to the experience. As we approached our destination, we spotted kites in the sky. Turns out our idea wasn't as original as we thought. We arrived and decided to go check it out. Welcome to the Greek edition of Lucky Skill and Travels in Europe. I'm here with Marilena and can you tell us where we're at? Well, we're in the Pythagoras, which is, as you can see, a very ancient uh, theatre where all the Greek plays were held. There were comedies, there were tragedies, <laughs> death and love. <laughs> the theatre was designed in the 4th century BC and it seats up to 15,000 people. The original Greek structure had 34 rows, which were extended in Roman times by another 21 rows. The theater is renowned for its exceptional acoustics, which allows close to perfect intelligibility of unamplified spoken word from the proscenium to all 15,000 spectators regardless of their seating. We couldn't resist having a dance in the ancient theater, so we decided to swing out. <laughs> the spectators liked it, but the guards did not. We were asked to leave and decided to go fly our kite. First attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Maria just dropped the string. Run, man! I don't know. Second attempt. <laughs> Third attempt. Fourth attempt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'll hold his tail. You gotta run! <laughs> we decided to leave the ancient theater after a few failed attempts at flying our kite and made our way west to Naplia, the first modern capital of Greece, for more sightseeing and food. Hello, we're back again in our Greek edition of Lucky Skills Travels in Europe. Where are we at? Well, at this moment we are in Athia, which was the first capital of Greece. And as you can see, because the, the city was under the Italian occupation for a long time, all the buildings have a Venetian kind of style. <laughs> Nafle was the first capital of modern Greece from 1829 until 1834. In 1834, King Otto decided to move the capital from Nafle to Athens. Okay, can you tell us where we're at now? So at this moment we are at a port, and behind me is the fortress, and it's called Port.
Nauplia is situated on the Argolic Gulf. Most of the old town is on a peninsula jetting into the gulf. This peninsula forms a naturally protected bay. And now, let's go get something to eat. We are now here at Eulos, a traditional Greek restaurant. Could you tell us something about uh, Greek food and perhaps the holidays? Yes, well today, um, the Lent is going to start. So we're not allowed to eat any meat for 40 days until Easter. And it's a very traditional thing that we have here in Greece for Easter to Lent. Excellent. So, it's kind of a Lenten fast where you can't eat any meat. Let's go inside. What a great meal that was. That was Absolutely great. amazing. Yeah. Highly recommend Eolos. With our stomachs full, we eat not like this. And now, I'm going to say, it's a spin that's a club called Martin.